Hello, this is Katherine Anderson's Porch Time with Jesus. Um, today I was reading and they said to treat every person you ever meet like the second coming of Jesus. I think that's a great thing so we can see people or, or, or the Jesus in people. Also, it talks about that each of us have much to offer and we can sense it. That feeling that something's missing, there's more to life, I have so much more to offer. All those feelings are, are a good thing, they're sacred truths and we treat them as human malfunctions. When you experience these yearnings, something is very, very right. Your heart, mind, body, soul are working together to get your attention. When you sense that something's missing, that there must be more to life, or that you have so much more to offer, your, your intuition has been so sharp. Claim these as sacred truths about yourself. Listen and follow where they lead. Each of these yearnings is a summons to live, in a, more, to live a more meaningful life, an invitation to live life to the fullest, a sacred call to become all you were created to be. We crave more because we were made for more. We try to satisfy, satisfy those cravings with trivial activities and meaningless things. But the foolishness, but this foolishness just leaves us exhausted, dissatisfied and hungrier for more than ever. These cravings testify in your heart that you were created for more than this. You were made for more. It's time to find out what more is. Holy moments draw out your potential. There are two types of hunger. There's the great hunger and the little hunger. The little hunger yearns for food while the great hunger, their great hunger is the greatest of all. It's the hunger for meaning. So this is a book that um, I'm reading called Holy Moments. And I'm, I'm going to go through it because it's, it's just absolutely amazing and I couldn't agree more with it. But also today, the Lord was um, kind of showing me, sorry, it's like 9510 heat index down there. But um, the Lord was showing me, you know, I tend to be a people pleaser and that's not good. So the Lord today says, the fear of man is a snare. A snare is a kind of trap something that entangles you, making it difficult for you to escape. Fear of man involves being overly concerned about other, what others think of you. It's an unhealthy, ungodly focus. Seeing yourself through the eyes of others, this fear can be crippling and it's full of distortions. Other people's view, views of you are distorted by their sinful nature. When you view yourself from others' perspectives, you add your own distortions to theirs. As you strive to present an acceptable persona, you become trapped. When you realize that fear of man is motivating you, controlling your thoughts and behaviors, come to me, says the Lord. At your request, I will for forgive you for making others' views of you in into an idol. I will help you break free from these entanglements. Affirm your trust in me and take time to enjoy my presence. Affirm your trust in me. Okay. As you forget about yourself and focus on me, your loving Lord, you grow increasingly free. In scriptures today, Proverbs 29, 25, the fear of man is a snare, but the one who trusts in the Lord is protected. In 2 Corinthians 3, 17, now the Lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. My dear pray, prayer for you today, dear ones, is to keep seeking the face of our loving Father who loves you all so much and has unique assignments for each of us. I could never do the assignments you have. Every one of us is made so unique, just like a, sn a snowflake from our Lord for the things that he wants to accomplish. We just have to cleanse our heart of any offenses, bitterness, pray for others, and then ask um, him to blast any sins out, those sins out of our hearts, so we can be excellent of soul and to perform his miracle, love. 
we love one each other. And when we're loving, he can get through us because it's no good through us, but us getting out of the way and letting his love come through to shine unconditionally for others. So my prayer for you, each of you dear ones, is to have a very blessed day for your eyes to stay open today. Lord, show them someone they can love today, witness to forgive in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you all.